In Bangkok, a man sitting in his luxury villa was running a laptop that suddenly, he heard the sound of a powerful accident from outside. Not knowing that his lively life was going to end in a few minutes, that man left his laptop open and ran outside. To say a girl had bumped into her Toyota camera at the gate of her villa, but actually not one, not just two, but the police of seven countries were waiting for this day for many years. It was the morning of 5th of July 2017 in Bangkok, and the person we are talking about is not an ordinary person. This multimillionaire lived a life of kings. He drove Porsche in the day, BMW in the evening, and Lamborghini in the night. In the eyes of the world, he was a software developer, while in reality he was known as the king of the dark web. The man who had been hiding his identity for years, a small mistake, ruined everything. Properties, money, wealth, cars, and his life, too. But what was that small mistake and how did the police of seven countries find the world's most wanted dark web king with collaboration? Dear viewers, this is about 2010 when the dark web was slowly rising. The dark web is the second direction of the world of the internet where all kinds of illegal work takes place. From drugs and weapons to giving target killing contracts, the whole black business is here. There are such things here that it is very difficult for us to believe. There is also a special reason behind the existence of all such things on the dark web. In the world, illegal workers want to hide their identity so that the police and law enforcement agencies cannot be caught. And on the dark web, this problem seemed to be being solved forever. Just like we use browsers like Google Chrome for browsing on the normal internet, in the same way, special browsers are used to browse dark web websites which protect the identity of the user through many servers. One of these is called Tor Browser. Before 2010, the dark web was not so popular, but after the arrival of cryptocurrencies, the problem of payment transfer of illegal trades was also solved. Because it is impossible for the authorities to track the cryptocurrency. All the problems of illegal trades had been solved in the dark web. The identity of the contractors was also safe, and payment transfer was also quite safe. Now only one thing was needed, and that was a good and reputable platform, or dark website. The first dark website named Silk Road was created, which gained a lot of success in the dark world of the internet. It started in February 2011, and more than 100,000 customers started using it. But after two and a half years, the owner of Silk Road was caught, and this website was closed. But because there was a lot of demand for this business, many new dark websites were launched in a few days, which included websites called Silk Road 2.0 and Evolution. On these websites, customers gave their bitcoins to the platform for sale purchase, and after purchasing, these bitcoins were given to the seller by cutting the commission of the platform. Now, because the whole black business is happening here, so most of the website operators used to close the website with all the money of the customers and run away, which is also called exit scams. No one knew them, and because of the dark web, it was impossible to trace them. So in the form of exit scams, Drug dealers simply shifted to other platforms. In the early years of the dark web, there was a lot of confusion here. Exit scams, being caught by platform owners and hacking was very common. A reputable and trusted platform was needed here. And this was the time when the dark website Alphabay was launched on the dark web in 2014. No one knew the name or location of the person who launched it. He used to identify himself with the name Alpha O2. In the beginning, only stolen credit cards were sold on Alphabay. But later, the sale of other products also started, such as money laundering and drugs. There were some things that did not have the permission to trade on Alphabay. Child abuse and stolen Russian bank accounts details. But why was that? Maybe Alpha Zero Two did not want to mess with Russian law enforcement agencies. Or he wanted to show U.S. law enforcement agencies that he is running it from Russia. Of course, where there is no hold of the U.S. In the first year, Alphabay started to settle its feet on the dark web. In the same year, 200,000 customers and more than 40,000 sellers started to do their black business peacefully. He had a villa where he lived with his Thai wife. The other $3 million mansion was outside Bangkok, where he lived. He was going to buy a holiday home and a villa in Phuket, in Cyprus. The agents began to keep an eye on all his activities. He roamed around Bangkok in his Lamborghini, unaware that the agents of Thailand, America, and Canada were following him. 
In his everyday life, the king of the dark web was a normal person. He would wake up early in the morning and stay at home almost all day. In the midst of all this, the authorities began to plan to arrest him. But the problem was that if he was arrested like this, then it would not be possible to prove in court that this person is the owner of Alpha Bay. That's why the investigation team wanted to catch him red-handed when he was working on his laptop. Alpha Bay was undoubtedly the largest marketplace of the dark web, but it also had a competitor. In Europe, a dark website called Henza was famous, which had been in the nose of European authorities. At the time when the Americans were planning to arrest the owner of Alpha Bay, Alexander, at the same time European investigators got a lot of success, they had found out the server location of the Henza market, maybe with the help of some informant. They did not want to close the Henza market server because it would not be of any use. Rather, Henza market will be run on new servers. They secretly copied the data of its servers, and after reading the chat of the admin, they succeeded in finding out that the owner of Henza market lives in Germany. European authorities together with German Federal Criminal Police started trying to find the owner of Hensa Market. Meanwhile, the US FBI told European authorities that they were going to arrest Alpha 02 and shut down Alpha Bay. The agencies of seven countries, including American, European, and German authorities, wanted to give this operation a new color, which was named Operation Bayonet. According to the plan, European authorities told the FBI not to arrest Alpha 02 until we gain control of the European Hensa market. This was a very clever decision by the agencies. On the dark web, when a website is closed, dealers and customers simply shift to another website. Since Hansa market was the second biggest dark website, when Alpha Bay was closed, all dealers would shift to Hansa market, which would be under the control of European authorities. Thousands of new dealers could be caught with this. Operation Bayonet was a kind of honey trap. In the midst of all this, Alexander Cases had no idea of anything. He was busy in his life in Bangkok. On June 20, 2017, the first part of the mission was successful. European authorities raided the data center of Hansa Market in the Netherlands at the same time. And at the same time, German authorities also arrested its owners in the cities of Siegen and Cologne, Germany. But this news was not made public. Hansa Market was now under the control of European authorities, and no one knew about this on the dark web. In Bangkok, the second part of the mission, i.e. the arrest of the Alexandria cases, began. DEA, FBI, and Thai authorities wanted Alexandria to be caught red-handed when her laptop and her mobile were open. For this purpose, they assigned a female agent to a Toyota Camry and gave her the task of going to Alexandria's villa, making a fake accident, and knocking the car on its gate. This would mean that the Alpha 02 inside, or Alexandria, would suddenly leave everything open and come out. Fortunately, it happened as planned. On the morning of 5th of July 2017, when the Toyota Camry collided with the gate of the Alpha 02, it left the laptop open and came out with its unlocked mobile. At the same time, many officers caught it and went inside to take control of its laptop, in which the control panel of Alpha Bay was open. The Alexandria cases were caught red-handed. The authorities copied all the passwords of the laptop. His cars, properties, and million-dollar cryptocurrencies were seized. But this Alexandria was going to die before the court. It was only a week after Alexander was arrested that he took his own life by hanging himself from a fan in custody. Only a small mistake of the king of the dark web took his life. After closing Alpha Bay, it was thought that all the dealers and customers headed to the Henza market, which was under the control of the European authorities. Thousands of new dealers were also caught, and after a week, Hansa Market was also closed forever. On the same day, the U.S. Justice Department officially held a press conference about this operation and shared the news of closing two major platforms of the dark web from the media. Thank you very much for your loving comments. See you in the next great video.